What is going on everybody? It is the second video in this like introdu introductory series. Second in video introducing the next pillar. Um, we did training yesterday. This video is going to be short and sweet because we're about to load up and drive to Georgia. So it's going to be a little chaotic night. I'm not going to get any sleep tonight. Um, I'm going to combine two videos because I don't know if I'm going to be able to really publish one tomorrow because of the funeral. So I'm going to combine two videos or two themes in this video. I'm going to talk about um, self-improvement and I'm going to talk about mindset. That's the two of my big pillars, um, self-improvement slash skills and then mindset. Um, this is something that's of all the pillars, the self-improvement is probably going to be my hardest one because just with the way life is right now, I'm always kind of putting things that I want to do personally on the back burner so that I can focus on the things that I need to do for the business and the clients and the communication. And those are all things that I want to do too. So I'm not putting those on the back burner per se because I want to do that. Um, but I, I don't ever really take the time to better myself as an individual. I always kind of like let that just slide because there's just so much craziness going on right now. So I'm going to actively work on that. Um, and one way I'm going to do that is I bought this planner book. And I'm usually not too too big on like planner books per se because I don't like the layout of them. But I like the layout of this one. I don't know what it's called. It's called Full Focus Planner. It's got several different templates, but it's got a ideal week page, which I think is pretty cool. It's got a daily rituals, um, like morning ritual, workday shutdown ritual, evening ritual. That's what that looks like. And then it's also got like daily big three tasks, and, like just like the normal day to day, like other tasks, yada, yada, yada with quotes and like after action review, my biggest wins, annual goals, uh, you know, quarterly goal. It just, it, I like the layout. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna write in that on a regular basis so that I can schedule in time for myself and like stay on top of everything else I have going on and be efficient with my workflow. Because currently everything just happens and I have like so much stuff that I need to get done and I used to always want to get ahead, but there's no getting ahead right now in my life. It's just not gonna happen. So there's always gonna be something else to do. So I have to actively put time in the day for me to work on improving my own self so that I can you know, exponentially grow as a person and a leader and yada, yada, yada. Um, I'm gonna do a couple of different way. I'm gonna do a couple of different things to make sure that happens. And again, of all the things, this is probably going to be the one that gets put on the back burner. So I'm making this one of the pillars to like actively, you know, prevent that from happening. Um, but I'm going to try and find skills that I want to, you know, pursue and enjoy and tie that into everything else that I'm working on. So I don't feel like I'm distracting so much from the overall goal. Um, so like hunting, for instance, I love hunting. I love fishing. I love doing all those things. But I've put those on the back burner for so long because they don't really like synchronized what I'm trying to build in the business. Um, but my battery is probably fixing to die here soon. So I'm going to be quick, but I want to hunt and fish and do those pastimes because it's like therapeutic for me. And I can tie that into like the ketogenic lifestyle, harvesting your own food. And if I make it like full circle like that, I'm going to be more inclined to do it. Um, plus I want to like just focus on improving my own skills and knowledge, you know, listening to other podcasts, listening to audiobooks, reading more, and just you know, working on my own knowledge. Um, the other pillar is mindset, and I'm all about stoicism, stoic way of thinking. You know, focusing on, um, you know, being present in the moment. And I'm really gonna try and schedule that into my day as well. I'm gonna start the day with some kind of like mindfulness practice. Um, I'm gonna have like you know, incense and Native American flute music going to kind of like that sounds frou frou, but Native American flute music and incense kind of like sets the stage for my environment to kind of get into that mindfulness way of thinking. So I'm going to do that in the mornings and in the evenings, I'm going to have a moment of reflection and gratitude and I'm going to pull myself away from all the distractions in life, all the things I have going on and just focus on what happened that day that I'm very grateful for or on a bigger macro level, what I'm grateful for in life. And I'm really going to, you know, focus on that, reflect on that. I'm going to end each day with that because I think practicing gratitude is one of the best ways to ensure that you 
you know, don't sweat the small stuff and don't become so bogged down with the things that really don't matter. Um, plus, it's really hard to be mad and negative when you're so grateful in life. So I'm really going to try and focus on that. And we'll dive more into this in greater detail, like on the day to day level when the series officially starts. But that's kind of like a high level view of what to expect from those two pillars. Um, that said, I'm going to hit the road for Georgia. I'll catch y'all tomorrow, hopefully. Hopefully. So take care.